Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, draw my name in the stone. Draw my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test. Test, test. Test, test, test. Perfect. Can you hear me? I, I can absolutely hear you. Oh, great. Because I can hear you, bro. Okay. Ah. All right. Yes. So I know you were up very late last night, Fall. Was I? Yeah, well, you. I, I told you that the dumpster guy would not come in the middle of the night. Ha <laughs> ha. You sat at the window. You never know. With popcorn and noodle bowls. You never know. I told yeah. you. It wasn't coming. He still hasn't come. He has not. Huh. But I went out there, and I dumped the salt like you Thank told you. me to. Did you use the seed spreader, bro? Yeah, after you yelled <laughs> from the upstairs window. Yep. I was watching you throw the salt down the 700 foot driveway. Yeah. And I thought to myself, oh, uh, I don't know why he's not using the seat spreader. Super hindsight. <laughs> so I waited till you were done. Waited until I was done. And came to the top of the driveway. And came to the top and of the I driveway. And I said, you know. Yeah. What would work great. Yeah. For spreading salt on your 700 foot driveway. Yeah. Downhill. Yeah. Is our seed spreader. Yeah, I forgot. Ah! Yeah, that would have been nice That's if you would have told me that. That's what I use in the summer to spread my seeds for my garden. Yeah, because I just ah! dumped, I don't even know, let's see, one, two, three. 400 pounds. Uh, 300 pounds of 300 salt. 300 pounds of salt. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like a lot, bro. It was. I still got another. Huh. Uh, 150 pounds left. Anyway, yeah, so well. thank you for coming in after I was completely done. And reminding me about the seed spreader, which would have made my life easier. You are welcome, yeah, bro. Go figure. <laughs> Great. All right. So. So. I, I'm, I'm going to inform you that you actually received some hat funds. Oh, did I? You did. Well, oh. once we get the. Who? Uh, Who sent we'll it? Well, I'll tell you that later. Oh. Because once we. Uh, yes. I'll print it out, and we will actually uh, say the hat great. that you bought with it and the person's oh, name. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. Like, this hat is sponsored by... Correct, correct. Blah, 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 blah. Correct. My so, subscriber. I, exactly. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. That, that'll that work. Correct. I would love to do that. that I'm way, going to give props where props is due. Correct. I thought that would be a good way oh, to, to thank the, the subscribers oh, for helping absolutely. you with your hats. I need them to get my back. Yeah. <laughs> or my head, at least. At least your head. You know, cover exactly. my head. So, <laughs> why don't we do this? What? Why don't we start the horoscopes? All right, we can start horoscope day. Okay. Perfect. It is Thursday. Yeah. January 27th. Ha <laughs> ha. Great. So, horoscope day. Happy horoscope day. Oh, you know what tomorrow is? What's that? Oh, tomorrow is Pirate Pick Your Poison Popcorn Friday. Mm. Ah, can't wait. Okay, so anyways, but this is Thursday, so let's let's do Thursday. All right. Great. Aries. Strong planetary forces affect your love affairs, creating considerable indecision for the time being. Mm. Oh, okay, so love affairs. Yeah. Hmm. Love affairs. Fears. <sighs> love relationships. Yeah. That's what we'll call it. All right. Aries in love relationships today. Yeah. Okay, so if it is not, it will be a full moon tonight. Well, uh, I don't, I don't we know all it's, know. Okay. Is the moon a planet? No, no. No, it's, it's a moon. It's, it's a moon. It's a, hmm. satellite, it's a moon. Yeah. We're going to call it a planet today. We're not, we're <laughs> not going to call it. Okay. So what's going to happen is it's going to be a full moon. It's going to disrupt, disrupt. What is it called? Disrupt. Disturbed? Disrupt. Action. Yeah. It is going to disrupt the tidal waves, the tidal forces. Yeah. Oh, so you plan to have a nice picnic on the beach. Yeah. It's not going to work out. Yeah. You know, it's going to be all romantic. Mm -hmm. You're going to light candles. Hopefully you don't live in a, you know, state that doesn't allow fire on the beach oh. without a permit. Right, well, okay. I think. I don't know. Do candles count as a fire? I I, I don't know if it's. Does it count as a bonfire? It might be an open flame. Hmm. I don't I don't know open what flame. what considers. Do you need a permit then to light a cigarette lighter? What if you want to smoke on the beach? I, um, oh, can you smoke on the beach? 
I, I don't. Hmm. I don't smoke. I don't. I don't know. That's a great question. Anyways, yeah. so you're going to have a picnic on the beach. Could be, you know, early evening. Could be evening. Doesn't matter. But what you're not going to account for is the full moon, planetary moon tonight. It, today, so it's moon's a planet. So it's going to affect the tidal forces, mm-hmm. tidal waves, yeah. tidal. What do you call those? Tidal what? What do you call them when the tide goes up and down? Tides. Oh, tides. It's going to a force, a mm. force <laughs> cut. This is what happens when you give her breakfast. I, Motion, I, no breakfast for you. I, 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 Action. Okay. What was I talking about? You, you're talking tides. about the tides. The tides in yeah. the picnic. Oh, you're not going to take into account the tides. Yeah. Oh, that's it. So you're going to think the tide is going out, right? So right. you're all safe for your romanticness on your picnic. Yeah. Nope. Tides are going to come in. Mm. Oh, and you know what's going to happen? What's it's good. The tides are going to come in and you're going to be on this like little sand levee shelf thing. Yeah. Oh, and you're not going to notice it because you'll be <clears throat> too busy. But what? So okay. the tides are going to come all around you. And you're going to be on this little sand island, yeah. right? Oh, it's going to cut you off from your car to yeah. s- get into safety. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry. The tide won't come up too far. You know, only maybe 20 feet deep. You're going to be stuck there for the night. Oh, you'll have like a five-foot circle mm-hmm. to stay on. I guess you can fit. If you both sit Indian style, back back to back, it'll be fine. Yeah. Hopefully, you brought more than one candle. It might get cold. Ah, let's hope there's no sharks. True. So, anyways, you might want to plan for this. You know, maybe an umbrella, space blanket. Hmm. Okay, Taurus. Partnering is an excellent way to overcome high costs. Mm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, we and you are not partners on my credit card. Uh, I know. We had a seven-hour discussion last night while yeah. I was sitting at the window waiting for the dumpster guy to come. Yeah, but you couldn't even focus. Uh, you could only focus on the dumpster. So am I'm I nudable? Gonna, and you're nudable. Oh. Anyways, okay, partnering. What would you partner for that has high costs? Huh. Oh, this is great. This would be hilarious. Oh, boy. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to tell you don't do this. Oh, okay. And I will explain why. Oh, Taurus, this is because you are a stock trader. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Uh, everyone knows it costs a lot of money, you know, to have unlimited trades during the day. Mm-hmm. Or even, you know, after hours, yeah. you need a certain amount in your account. Yeah, 25000 oh, So what's going to happen is you are going to go in partnership with someone. Mm-hmm. Oh, you will both have access to this account. Mm-hmm. You are going to buy. They're going to turn around and sell because they don't agree with your decision making. Mm. They are going to buy. You're going to turn around and sell because you don't decision. You don't cut. <laughs> you know what's throwing me off, right? <laughs> I won't say it. Uh, do you want me to handle it? No, it's fine. Okay. Action. Layla's in the office today. Layla, and she's tr- Layla. she's attacking my feet. Layla the cat. Oh, God. Anyways, yeah. You'll see a picture of her. Kick her. Uh, I can't. My legs aren't long enough. Okay. I have to sit on the stool. Okay. Uh, where was I? Stop oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because, you know, the two of you aren't going to decide and j- agree on any stock decisions today. What's mm. going to happen is you are going to lose billions. Mm. And you want to know why? It's just because you're selling their shops, their buys. They're selling your buys. They buy, you sell, you sell, they buy, you buy, they sell, they sell, you buy, buy, sell. And, yeah, put a put. Let's put a put in there. Okay. Why not? That's fine. It's a bull flag. (laughs) Anyways. Oh, and then you know what's going to really get you at the end? What's that? The stock is going to halt. (laughs) That's going to be the kicker. Yeah. You're going to lose billions. Yeah. So, stay away from the stock market. Gotcha. If you want to trade, do not go in halfsies with anyone. Right. Uh, Make your own decisions. Gotcha. Right. My decision is stay away from the stock market. Got it. It's a black hole. Ah, yeah. true. Anyways, Gemini. Yeah. Right now, you don't have to chase after your goals, but instead, oh, 
God, these are long. Be very still, and they will come of themselves. Oh, great. I, that was so long, I don't even know what I read. Oh, right God. now, you don't have to chase after your goals. Yeah. Oh, they're going to come to you themselves. Yeah. Oh, whoa. What? This is like a new invention. Oh, this is for soccer. This is for soccer. Oh, yes. This is like an ingenious idea. What's that? You know how all these little soccer players have to run up and down the field, kicking the ball, yeah, as long trying as... to kick it into the goal yeah. thing with a net? Yeah. It's called a goal post yeah. net so, so holder what? to catch the ball. You're going to invent a goal post uh, mover tool? Yes. What's going to happen is whoever has the ball, yeah. whichever side, whichever team, yeah. the goal post for the opposite team, yeah. It's going to start slowly moving towards them. Oh, <laughs> our way. Yeah, like, you know, 55 miles an hour. Wow. Oh, it would be great. And then if the ball gets kicked to the opposite team, yeah. the goal post that was moving is going to shoot backwards into place yeah. where it started, and yeah. the opposite team's goal post will start to move forward. Yeah. Oh, this will save them a lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah, this gives them more energy for dancing. Now, can you, can, can you work that in reverse? Right. So if you come to something, can you move the goal post farther away? Come to what? Like, like because that's one of the common things, that people keep moving the goal posts farther down the road. Farther down the road. Like oh, the so you want to put you want to put a negative one. Yeah, one. Can we? Can oh, we? Can you wear that up? That too? would be funny. Yeah. Oh, and you know what'd be great? They just keep running. Oh, you have you know like when when these restaurants open, yeah. like you get online reservations. Yeah. So people sit at their computers with like four laptops, and then as soon as the reservation thing opens, they hit click. Yeah. And there's like a billion people clicking at the same time, and then you see if your reservation gets taken for this restaurant who everyone wants to go to. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little cat in the, in the posts. <laughs> we will put at a specific time during the game, mm-hmm. each side can click a button mm-hmm. at a certain time, Yeah. and that moves the goalpost backwards mm. instead of forwards. Ha-ha! <laughs> so your fans, yeah. whichever side you're on, yeah. the fans mm-hmm. have to be sitting there with like five laptops each yeah. to click the button... Yeah. And hopefully they win the chance to move the gold pulls backwards. Mm, oh, that's great. That is ingenious. That's good. You should patent that, bro. Uh, all right, I'm on it. Do you want me to invest? Yes. Great. Do you have any money? When I get money, oh. I will invest. Can I give you an IOU? No, you already give. You know how many mm. IOUs? Uh, yes. You know what? I'll show you the IOUs on uh, the next video. Yeah, yeah. I know, bro. It, I'll, Actually, I'm good for it's, it's right here. Keep what? going. No, no. Copy of your oh, no. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna show it. Yeah. God, fine. Show the IOUs. There it is. Yep. This is the IOUs. Yeah. Well, you know. Well. Uh, it's yeah. Well, those look like blank pages. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so you can't. Uh, the, my signature's not on those. I may have given them to you. Yeah. But you know. No, that's what? your blank IOU yes. checkbook. Correct. That's what you have you over there. You fill in the blank. Yeah. Ah, I didn't sign it, though. Exactly. Everyone knows a blank check isn't good until it's signed. Right. So, ha, huh, one on you. Yeah. Ah, or, like, maybe 100. There's 100 there. Yeah. Maybe 200. I don't know. All right. Oh, God, where were we? Oh, cancer. Yeah. Ooh, I like this word. All right. An enchanting get-together mm. with old friends or travelers yeah. is on the cards. Yeah. Ah. Oh, this is great. This is good. This is time for cancer to catch up with old buds yeah. or old gals. Or travelers. Uh, or travelers. Are you going to travel, yeah. Fall? Am I? Yeah. Are you Where gonna should I go? Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Fine. Okay, so anyways, what you want to do, Cancer, is you want to pick tonight. You want to get together with all your old chummy chum okay. chums, right? And, oh, God, this is Layla. This is, this is never bring your cat to work day again. She is, I told you, she is like so spoiled. It's all handled. Oh, between her and Caden, I don't know who's worse. <gasps> oh, anyway, so you're going to have a, like, uh, this tonight is going to be card game night. <laughs> Mm. The stakes are high. The tensions are high. The stories are great. Mm. Oh, catch up with old friends tonight. Yeah. Oh, it'd be great. You know, use real money. You know, bars of gold, bitcoins, dot matchsticks, yeah. pretzels. Ah, 
What else can you use? I don't know. Peanuts. <laughs> oh, be original and go with shell peanuts. Great. Anyway, so you're going to have a great time tonight. You're going to, you know, gamble all your stuff away. Yeah. But it'll be worth it because you'll find out all the stuff that, you know, you needed to catch up and find out about these people because you haven't seen them for like, I don't know, a week. Oh, a, week. a lot happens in a week. Well, I don't. So, actually, it does. Go ahead. And then you'll have a surprise. Your spouse will have made you a homemade cake. Ha ha ha. To mm. share with all your friends. Cake. Oh, is there anything better than cake? Mm. That is the enchanting part. Your spouse loves you so much. Well, they wanted you to have a great time. Eclairs. Oh, eclairs too. Mm-hmm. Why not donuts? Mm. Oh, there's going to be a huge delivery from a pastry shop courtesy of your spouse. Oh, or girlfriend. Or boyfriend. Or significant other. Yeah. Or best friend. It doesn't matter. It yeah. will come and take the pastries. Yeah. Oh, I want pastries. Oh, boy. Oh, great. Leo. Yeah. You may be annoyed at someone calling you unexpectedly. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Sage, are you a Leo? I'm not, but sometimes I feel like one. Oh. Yeah, I was just going to say, this happened to you like, you know, ten times in a row so far. Yeah. Within like a day or two. Uh, yeah. We sit down to eat. hmm And your food's nice and warm. Yep. And you get all comfy in your chair. You ready to eat? Yeah. You lift up the fork or the spoon, and bam, ring it on the telephone. Yeah. Ha ha. Does it matter what time? Because yeah. we don't have like a set eating time. Oh, it's hilarious. We sit down to eat, and ring, 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 ring. There's the phone. Every time. Ha ha. Yeah, it's it's been amazing. I was like, wow. Who did you piss off in your last life? Uh, I don't <laughs> know. Anyway, so, yeah, what's going to happen is uh, you thinking you're going to sit down to a warm meal and actually eat it yeah. uninterrupted, Yeah, it's not going to happen. Gonna Most happen. likely, it's a telemarketer. Yeah. Or your child's school saying they cut the class. Mm. Or, oh, your neighbor yeah. just to piss you off. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't answer the phone. That's my suggestion. Don't answer the phone today. Just turn the phone off or unplug it from the wall. Yeah. Right. If you have a fax machine, you might want to unplug that too. Huh. Okay, Virgo. You can now make your dreams a reality. And your relationship should start to see a distinct improvement. Perfect. Hmm. Hold on. Can I cut for a second? Yeah, sure. Yeah, cut. Action. God, I can't get my stool to stop rocking. (laughs) (laughs) That that actually sounded funny. Uh, Did I say action? Quite horrible. Action. Anyway, action. Great. Okay, so, God, where was I? Virgo. Okay, you can now make your dreams a reality. And your relationships should start to see a distinct improvement. Mm. Uh, Okay, so, your dream. What should we have as a dream? What is everyone's dream? Everyone's dream uh, to be to rich find that fountain of youth. To be rich and famous. To be rich and famous. Yeah. Mm, no? Rich and famous is so you know. Yesterday. Yesterday. Um, to be poor Let's and famous. Go with your. That is ingenious. <laughs> ha ha! Yes. Uh oh. Sorry, Virgo. Okay, this is got you know your dream. <laughs> yesterday, was to be rich and famous. <laughs> You're like, it never happens. I want to see something. Yeah. So, today you woke up, and you're like, ha-ha, do you want to know what my dream is today? Hmm. My dream is to be poor, and no one knows who the hell I am. (laughs) So, oh, this is great. So, what's going to happen is, you know, you have a family member that gets in trouble, and for some weird law they just instated today, uh, all members are responsible for the any family member doing anything bad. So mm. you are financially responsible. So what happens is you are the only last surviving line in this family next to this person. Oh, what happens is they, you know, commit something. I don't care. You use your imagination. They commit a crime. Mm. Oh, destruction of property. Most likely it was their neighbor's house. Wow. <laughs> anyway, mm. so you are now held financially responsible. So, oh, there goes all your finances. Everything in savings. 
everything in your IRA, any stocks, any bonds, any place, all oh, your mattresses are gone. No, your no, house is gone. Yeah, I don't think your cars are that. gone. Okay. Oh, you just bought a Bitcoin for like seventy-five thousand dollars. It's gone. Yeah, I don't. Oh, you're so proud of that one Bitcoin. Yeah. Oh, so anyways, oh, at least they left you the shirt on your back. Right. But they did take your shoes. Ouch. And your pants. So I'm hoping you wear a very long shirt today. Oh, anyways, hmm. so the dream of being poor ah, has come true. Perfect. The universe played a horrible, evil joke on you. Wow. Oh, and now that you are poor and have nothing... Whenever you call anyone for help, they act like they don't know you. Mm. They say, who is this? Nope. Don't know any Joe Schmo. Then, then don't know any Jane Schmo. Then your Nassara money will ah, come in. What? Then the Nassara money will come in. No. No? Doesn't go with this one. Oh. No, no. We're sticking with you are poor and no one knows who the hell you are. Perfect. <laughs> so... Yeah, my advice, you know, you might not want to wish or dream for being poor and no one knows who the hell you are. Stick with the rich and famous. Ha ha, you can never go wrong until you get rich and famous yeah. and then a lot of things go wrong. Wow. Actually, you might want to be poor and no one knows who the hell you are. Why? Because, you know, a lot less stress. Hmm. Hmm, that sounds great. Perfect. Well, you know, you might want to figure out where, where how you can eat. And where are you going to live? Hmm. I guess if you move to somewhere tropical, it doesn't matter. There's always fresh fruits and veggies. And you can sleep under a giant palm tree. Oh, I want to be poor and have no one who I am. Perfect. Oh, this would be great. Okay, Libra. It would help if you had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with a friend. It's essential, however, to keep it light and carefree. Oh. Mm-hmm. This goes back to the stock market trading buds or oh, gals. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, you know, let's say you've been through this. Let's say you went half seas with a partner to trade stocks. Yeah. And you guys are losing millions today because, you know, again, he's buying or they're buying, you're buying, she's buying, he's buying, they're selling, she's selling, he's selling. Doesn't matter. It's a buy and sell war between you two. You're not even looking at the stock market itself. Candles don't exist on your screen. Ha ha. So let's sit down, have a little chit chat. Keep it light. You know, keep facial damage to a minimum. Mm. Might not want to knock out too many teeth. Wow. You know, let them yeah, keep at least that's... one eye. Oh, if you chop off an ear, ha ha, make it into a necklace. Be okay. proud of it. Yeah, that, that, oh, don't do that. Great. So, anyways, keep it light and carefree. You know, that's all I can say allegedly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Scorpio, you'll make solid and steady progress, achieving career goals now, but you mustn't rush. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Solid and steady progress. Yes. What is a job that is solid and steady? Mm, content mm. creator. No. Okay. I'm going to go with NASCAR driver. No, that's not. That's oh, not. This is great. Oh, yeah, there is nothing more steady and solid than a career in NASCAR. No, <laughs> that's not, that's not. Oh, great. So, yeah. Okay. So, mm. so you just got into NASCAR, right? Yeah. Oh, you finally made it. It was your dream. You have been racing cars since you were, you know, two. Yeah. Your parents started to jump because yeah. they're like, you, my child, are going into NASCAR. I, I don't think two <laughs> is a good whatever. It, it can work. Okay. Huh. Anyways, so to have a solid and steady career in NASCAR, mm -hmm. you need a solid and steady pit crew. Mm. Oh, this is where you're going to fail. Wow. You know why? No. Outside of the stadium. Is mm -hmm. it a stadium? It's a racetrack. Is a racetrack considered a stadium? Uh, well, it can be, it's yeah. It's a track. Yeah. Let's call it the track. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a horse track. Let's call it the NASCAR left turn only roadway. That's Perfect. Fine. So, uh, you arrive. You forgot to have a pit crew outside our, uh-oh, unemployed circus members. Huh. Yep. And you know what? 
They're the clown ones, too. Mm. Oh, even though they're great in the circus, oh, they're my bros. We had a great time back in the day. Oh, they're, they're not going to be very good at, you know, NASCAR cars. Yeah. Maybe those little funny cars, they drive around the circus ring, but, you know, NASCAR, this is way out of their league. Unfortunately, you hire them. Why? Oh, you can't, you, you can't pass up that little, that big red nose. Those big red shoes. Oh, those outfits. Right. Polka dots are your favorite. So, anyways, you hire them to be your pit crew. Mm, nope, not going to happen. They're, they're not going to know what to do. Uh, they put a horn on your car. A, a horn, a squeaky horn. Mm. Can you even put your arm out of the car to use a squeaky no. horn when you're in NASCAR? No. Oh, but you try. Oh, God. Oh, so this is where the mustn't rush part comes in. Oh, uh, because if you try to use the squeaky horn because you feel bad because, you know, these clowns took a lot of time to put this on. So you're racing, racing, racing. You're going as fast as you can. You put your arm out of the window because there's no window, right? Beauty opinion, fall, fall around. Oh, the beauty opinion, and then your arm gets ripped off because of the wind force. So my suggestion is if you're going to hire them, which you will, go slow so you can properly put your arm out of the window without having it ripped off and press the little horn yeah, that no. the circus members installed on yeah, your NASCAR. Yeah. Oh, great. No problems there. No, no, no. You know? Uh-huh. Anyways, Capricorn, work through the ABC of what needs doing. Yeah. Before you know, success is yours. Exactly. Wow. All these horoscopes seem, you know, great. I think. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> so, the ABCs of what needs doing. Yeah. Oh, God. We all have this, don't we? I don't Whether know. it's in the bedroom, in the kitchen. Wow. Oh, hanging in the hallway. I don't know. It's a to-do list. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate these things. Why? The list never gets cleared. It just, you mark something off and there's 10 other things I put on. Yeah. Someone puts them on. Someone in your house puts them on. Uh-huh. You try and get through the list and every day there's a new thing on the list. Right. Oh, God. So, anyways, let's start with the simple things. Take a simple task, complete it, which will be grab your to-do list, put it in the safe, change the safe code, and no one else has it except you. This way, your to-do list stays at a reasonable length. Mm. And as you complete it, nothing else gets added. Gotcha. Wow. This is great. I have a to-do list every day. Tell me about it. Yeah, it always changes. Hmm. I'm going to do this. Can I use your safe? No. Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. There's stuff in the safe I don't want you to have. Are you sure? A hundred percent sure. You said I couldn't have flashbangs. No, you can't have flashbangs. Hmm. Funny. Funny how you said there's stuff in your safe I can't have. Okay, you know what? Next, keep hmm. with the horoscopes. Okay, All anyways. Right. Aquarius. You have a subconscious optimism about life, mm-hmm. which will authentically come to fruitation. Hmm. Oh. People who are optimistic about life. Oh, jeez. Nothing drives me more insane. Uh, uh, these pe- I wonder what's wrong with these people. They're called... Yeah. Okay. I I can't understand that thought process. They're called optimists. Yeah. I'm the opposite. Here, pe- I'm an pessimist. anti-optimist. Pe- no, no. Optimist. Pe- 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 <laughs> Action. No, bro. It's called an anti-optimistic person. That's so, fine. So... Anyways, also known as pessimism. Oh, in optimism about life. Yeah, let's just drop that. My saying goes, don't expect anything from anyone mm. ever. Yeah. Have no expectations. Yeah. Keep them low. Keep yeah. them non-existent. So when anything happens, mm-hmm. good or bad, yeah, it's like wow. At least I got something. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, can't go wrong. Mm. Can't go wrong. Great. So, action. Leave the optimism. Where should you put it? Where would you put optimism if you want to get rid of it forever? I, I, in a, ah, dump, in a dumpster? In the, you read my mind. Yeah. In the dumpster. Yeah. Oh, love it. Great. Yep. Yeah. So, if anything ever happens, you know, you win a scratcher ticket, 
Oh, you get the phone call. Yeah. You get a castle. Doesn't matter. Oh, you're just happy. Right. Ah, anyways, Pisces, you must remain positive and don't let others. Uh oh. Don't let delays or fears impact what the universe brings to you now. Gotcha. Oh, we just talked about this. <laughs> Remaining positive. And it says, don't let delays or fear impact. Oh, no. Okay, okay. So, this is wrong, too. Oh. Oh, listen to your fears. Oh. Fear is a survival instinct. Yeah. You ask anyone in the animal kingdom. Yeah. Fear well, keeps you alive. The animal kingdom doesn't actually oh. talk. Yes, they do. Okay. You just need to learn how their language. Learn their language. Gotcha. You can, you can do it. Yeah. Motion speaks Blue Jay. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Or she can understand Blue Jay. She right. can't speak it. She can understand it. Right. Anyways, so. Oh, what was I? Fear. Yes. The, 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 the key of survival is fear. Why? It keeps you on your toes. Oh, why? Because, you know, here we go, right? If there wasn't fear, a sheep would gladly walk up to a wolf and say, Hi, Mr. Wolf. How are you today? And the wolf would gobble it right up. Yeah. And the sheep would be like, I didn't see this yeah, coming. Yeah, okay, so good, good if point. the sheep had fear, it would be like, wow, uh, nope, this guy scares me. Or I'm not going to be eaten up today. I'm running away. Uh, at least it has a fighting chance, a running chance. So True. anyways, you want to keep fear in your life. Why? Because it will save your life. Oh, apply to everything. Gotcha. Shoe shopping, grocery no, shopping. No, shoe shop no, no. Car There's shopping. No fear in shoe. Okay. House shopping. Any type of shopping. Too bad that didn't ah, wasn't true about spending. What? You have no fear of spending my money. Oh, I do. I just keep my fears to a minimum. Ha ah. <laughs> Anyways, last one, Sagittarius. Yeah. Learn the value of time today in the truest sense. Mm. In the true... How... It, okay, can you explain this to me? Sure. How do you learn the value of time mm -hmm. today yeah. in the truest sense? sense uh i think what they're saying is truly understanding how important time is is time important well it is because you only have so much of does it. time exist time does exist decaying exists correct hmm. which is a time way that we measure does time does not exist uniformly no. throughout the universe no time correct time is so, time is relative time is relative correct to where you are in the universe correct and does time run differently in everyone's universe? I'm going to say uh, yes. Yes. Great. So, uh, throw that out the window. Oh. Time to you is whatever you want it to be. Spend time how you want to spend it. Mm. Yep, that's it. That's the meaning of this. The truest form of time is to spend time how you want to spend it. Technically, how you want to do Decay through time. Yes. Decay through life. Correct. That's it. Decay through life. How you want to decay? Ha ha! I want to stay to decay too. Ha ha! Great. Oh, what an ending to a horoscope day. Ah, uh, zombies. Perfect. Ha -ha. All right. We'll that end was this one it. Here. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna end it here. Thirty-three minutes. I gotta go. I went way over today. Uh, not my fault. Not my fault. The sage gave me these 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 things. These horoscopes. I needed explaining. Happy Hours Go Day. Oh, can't wait to be Pirate Friday. Pick your poison popcorn Pirate Friday day. Oh, great. Tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Cut.